What's going on everyone? My name is Mandeep. Welcome back to another amazing episode. Today we are back in South Surrey about to tour one of the biggest homes that we have ever seen on this channel. A big thank you to Tony Yao of Sutton Group West Coast Realty for letting us tour this amazing listing. I'll put his information in the description below. This home is 10,000 square feet. It has seven bedrooms, nine bathrooms, and the lot is almost one acre. Before we start, I just wanna thank you guys for watching and subscribing. If you're not a subscriber yet, please consider subscribing so we can continue to make these amazing videos for you guys. Now, let's go check out this amazing home. So this automatic gate allows you onto this property. I'm walking on these pavers right here. We got landscaping on this side and on this side, a ton of privacy. This entire acre is gated. Uh, it has cedar fence on the front and a metal fence on the front over there. And sorry, a cedar fence on the side over here. So we got a pathway which takes you to the back on this side. Let's go and check out the front of this house. I feel like I need a golf cart to just even view the entire property. This home is sitting on a massive lot, 43,000 square feet. So at the front of the house, we got smooth stucco, we got a hardy board, and we actually have some cedar soffits as well. Three car garage down that way, uh, European gutters over here, and I like the design, which allows you to bring your car down this way and then also wrap it around and exit down that way as well. So let's go explore. We got another pathway which takes you to the back of the property over here. We got Allen blocks over there and then some planters on the other side of the Allen blocks right there. Uh, I believe that they have a sprinkler system as well already installed and then we got some landscaping lighting here as well. A ton of privacy, we got mature landscaping everywhere. Uh, so basically no one can see into your property, you can't see anyone else as well. Super private, love this area. Let's go check out the inside of this home. Welcome to the inside of this gigantic house. As soon as you enter the property, what you do is you press this welcome button right here. And what that does is turn on all the lights, it opens up all the blinds, and you can also program it to have the music turn on for you as well. So we're in this entranceway right here, which is nice and wide, double heighted ceiling here. And of course, at the middle, in the middle of the ceiling, you got this LED chandelier, super modern, gigantic, looks amazing. And above that, you have a drop ceiling with LED lights and puck lights as well. So to my left, we have the, uh, I, I would say this is the formal living room. And basically this is where you bring your guests. And at the center over here, you have a fireplace with this man-made stone right here. And then on the back, we got some, I believe this is MDMF or some sort of baseboard style material. And they have a nice paint on that as well. Uh, this complements the white engineered, oh, sorry, the oak engineered hardwood on the ground. So at the front over here, you got some drapes right here, some windows that allow you to look out into your private yard and allow a ton of light to come into this area. And of course, at the center of this room, there's another chandelier, and this one is rose gold. Um, excellent choice, complements the back wall very nicely and the floor as well. And then of course, you gotta have the uh, drop ceiling and the pot lights up above. So I'm just gonna close this door over here. Nice big doors, frosted glass in them. I like that a lot. You got wall sconces on both sides. And then follow me down this way. This is your dining. This is a formal dining. I like the molding right here, the molding work. It's very nice. You got a very modern, simple light fixture in the middle, drop ceiling up above, and you got the LED lights above it as well. Once again, you have the drapes right here and these are casement windows which open up and you get a nice little breeze into this area. Okay, so follow me down this way. This is the service pantry. Excellent choice of the wood veneer cabinets. Um, I like the stain color a lot. I think it complements the countertop and it's, it very nicely complements the floor as well. And I really, really like this gold. Uh, cabinetry hardware right here. These knobs, they look very nice. And check out these tiles, that's pretty sick. Get a close up of that side. And then of course you gotta have the LED strip lighting right up here. And then up here, you got three inch black uh, puck lights right there. 
So, actually I want to bring your attention to one more thing. Zach, just get a close up of this. I like this bevel right here on the cabinetry. That's really nice. Okay, so follow me down this way. So this house is huge. Let's go down this way first, actually. So we got the stairs here. We'll talk about that in a second. And over here we have the powder room. And of course, as you guys know, the viewers of this channel know the powder room is where you incorporate a whole bunch of design. You got the LED lit mirror right there and I don't even know how to describe this sink right here but it did an excellent job with this it kind of is just placed into that counter and the stone is very nice as well you got a nice big reveal in the back and that that color is very nice it complements the sink very nicely as well and overall they just did an awesome job in this room and you can't forget the tile it's very nice okay so follow me down this way we're gonna check out a couple more rooms over here so down this way we have this could be used as a bedroom but i would personally use this as a home office that's what it's been made for you got a nice chandelier in here as well modern black led you got a whole bunch of windows you got some wall molding on the back wall as well uh, imagine a nice big desk in here and then over here you got some cabinetry to store all your files your books and you got the puck lights right in here as well and then you got the mirrors the stained mirrors that's pretty sweet that's awesome um, and this door is very nice as well we haven't seen a door like this before very custom very nice so you're gonna have to use your imagination just a little bit because we don't they didn't actually stage it they're in the process of staging it um, I wish we saw this home when it was staged but unfortunately that's not gonna happen for another three weeks Usually we like to uh, view homes that are staged because it elevates the home. But when I saw the pictures of this house, it didn't matter if it was staged or not. We just really wanted to see it because it's so beautifully done. So follow me down this way. This is the master on the main. And over here is where you would place your king bed right here. And then on both sides, you got room to display or actually place your nightstand on this side and on that side as well. And over here you got the LED light right here. A ton of mood lighting. Yeah, get a close-up of that, Zach. And on the ceiling, you got a drop ceiling with more LED lights as well. That's pretty sweet. So follow me down this way. Cool thing about this room is that you actually have your very own private entrance into this room. So and down this way, you got these windows which look onto your backyard. And as you could tell, you have no neighbors. And even if you did, you wouldn't be able to tell because you're looking onto a green belt. You got so much mature landscaping back there. You got some nice big trees here as well. Casement windows. And then down here, we have a very seamless transition from the hardwood onto the tile. I think they did a great job with that. And over here, excellent choice of the cabinetry and the countertop material over here you got the his and her vanities and then no handles here you just push it open just like that pretty sweet and you see absolutely no drywall in this entire room you got you got the tile here you got a nice big reveal right here you got modern light fixtures on both sides and yeah they just did an overall a great job Zach come into this area we got the toilet over here you got the freestanding soaker tub right here and then right in this corner you got a nice shower as well and this becomes a steam shower you know that because it has this glass right here so you just shut the glass you let all the steam build up into there and that's what a steam shower is and the good thing about this one is that it has the hand shower and the rainfall shower head as well Okay, we're almost done in this room. I just want to bring your attention to one more thing. And that is this light fixture. That is super unique and modern. I haven't seen anything like that before. That's pretty sweet. Okay, now let's go check out the rest of the house. Okay, before we go on to the living room and the kitchen, I just want to show you guys this closet. This is a nice big closet. You got a ton of space to store all of your clothes. Maybe this is where you put your luggage if you're a traveler or something like that. And then you got the drawers right here. I like these uh, black handles. Awesome job. You got 
some space here as well. Zach, I'll let you go into there. Uh, maybe if you want to stack your shoes or something like that, you have a shoe collection right there. Great job. Okay, now let's go back into the hallway. So nice big hallways. Maybe you put up some art right here. I think that would look great. And so we'll talk about the stairs in a second. Let's go check out this area right here. So over here is where you would have a nice big couch. Maybe you're gonna put an L style couch right here. And then at the front of the room, you got this huge fireplace design with light fixtures, uh, light sconces actually on both sides. And then these massive tiles. And then you got the horizontal fireplace right there as well. So at the front of the room is where you're gonna put your TV, which is right here. You got this spot right here for your plug and your cable and all that kind of stuff. And then of course, at the back of the house over here is where you have these gigantic windows and just overlooking that backyard once again. Okay, so you can't forget to mention this light fixture up here. Check that out, that's super modern and it's all LED. It's amazing, it looks great. And above the light, you got the pot lights and the light fixture, or sorry, the LED lights as well. So I think that's awesome. And over here, you got another TV. And right now it's displaying your eight cameras that you would have uh, that showed pretty much everything that's going on at that side of the house, outside of the house. You got the realtor and the builder right there. And over here is where you have the control four. The control four uh, controls the entire house in terms of the music, the lighting, the temperature, security, and the intercom as well. So there's built-in speakers throughout the entire house and the backs, uh, backyard as well. Uh, over here, we have a nice U kitchen. Uh, personally, I love U kitchens. I think they're the best way to lay out your kitchen. You got the sink right here. You got the massive island. And then on this side, you have the cooktop right over here. So let's check out the island first, actually. So man-made material right here. And then check out the color, actually. You got three-tone cabinetry here. So you got this nice blue color, blue slash, actually gray pretty much. And you got storage on this side, so you just pop it open, just like that. And the gray complements the uh, gray inside of this countertop as well. I like that a lot. Check out these lights. You got two light fixtures hanging on top of your uh, island. And then on this side, you have the white cabinetry. So over here you got gold handles and I really like this cabinetry a lot. Very custom, looks amazing. And of course you gotta have top of the line melee appliances. Now one of the cool features that the realtor Tony was showing me was Zach, get a close up of this. The way you open this is you just push it open just like that, how cool is that? Melee side by side fridge. And then on this side you got the freezer just like that, massive freezer, that's amazing. Okay, I'm gonna shut this. Uh, I just wanna bring your attention to the drop ceiling. So check out the drop ceiling, you got the LED light up above, and then you also have a finished in baseboard which is painted in a kind of a gold color. I really like that, I think that's amazing. Down this way, we have the pantry, and on that side, we have the second kitchen. But before we go there, I just wanna bring your attention to this. So they got a different stone over here, but, and a different stone over here. I'm just gonna turn on this light, actually. There go. And they also wrapped the hood fan in that same man-made material. I think that looks amazing. Okay, so follow me down this way. Once again, we got that solid wood door which has the glass in it. I think that's a very creative way of uh, making your doors. And over here we have the two-tone cabinetry with the black handles. And over here we got the gas stove, we got the hood fan, and then of course you gotta have the fridge. Typically what you see in these homes is that uh, they have the smaller fridge on the inside. This is an LG fridge. And then come into this area, you got a ton of space to store all of the food that you would have right in here. That's amazing, you got so much room here. Okay, let's, let's move on to the rest of the home. OK, 
Okay, I believe there was some construction going on. I'm gonna check behind that door if there's still some construction going on or not. Give me one sec. Yeah, there's still some construction going on. We'll check this out later on. Now let's go check out the upstairs. Follow me. The stairs have been, the stairs have been stained. The stairs have been stained a very similar color to the white engineered oak on the ground on the main floor over there. And then on the back wall, we have LED strip lighting integrated into this design over here. And a key detail that I always like is when the spindles are landing right into the uh, steps. I think that's awesome. And then it's also illuminated uh, with LED lighting in the nosing. Okay, so follow me down this way. So there's four bedrooms up here. We're gonna check out three out of the four. Let's go into, let's go into this area first actually. So back in this, this room over here, you could do pretty much whatever you like. You could probably get a treadmill in here. You could turn this into a small gym or something like that, a yoga studio, maybe some extra storage if you wanted. Just pretty much a flex area for whatever you would wanna do in there. So down this way, we got a huge bedroom right here. So much light coming into this area. Overlooks your very private backyard. You got no neighbors to the back over here. You just have a nice green belt. I think that's awesome. These are Euroline windows and they are casement windows. So over here, Zach, let's get a close up of that right there. That's a nice modern light fixture, black and gold. Very popular to have black and gold light fixtures in your homes right now. So down this way, we have your washroom white countertop, uh, wood tone cabinetry right here. The same cabinetry material has been used to make a border on the mirror. And then of course, a tile, which is actually some very, very complimentary to the, um, to the cabinetry as well. And then you got the hand shower, you got a nice tub in here. Perfect. All right, so now, actually I just wanna talk about a detail here. So whenever a builder is doing something like that that you haven't seen before, like these two beveled, bevels in the door, you know that they spent some money on that because that's not something that you could just order or they have sitting in inventory. And then also, the casing is very nice as well. You got a nice little bevel in there as well. Pretty sweet. So of course, this bedroom would have its own closet, which is right over here. Good sized closet right in there. So there's enough room to make probably five bedrooms up here. But instead of doing that, they kept it four bedrooms and these are all really big uh, bedrooms actually. All right, so follow me down this way. We got another bedroom over here, a nice big closet over here. This one has a little bit of a bigger closet right over here. Let's go actually check this out. Double doors, hangers, shelves, and your drawers as well. Pretty sweet. Okay, so down this way, the coolest thing about this room is definitely these hexagon tiles. Check that out. Let's get a close up of that, Zach. Each one of these has been uh, laid individually. It's not a sheet, these are individual tiles. Once again, the vanity, the toilet, and then check this out. Awesome choice of the tiles back here. And you got a nice big niche right here. I think that looks amazing. All right. Now let's go check out the master bedroom. Follow me. On the way to the master bedroom, you have an open to below on your right side and your left side. On the right side is the entrance, double heighted entrance, a very grand entrance right here. And then you get to check out that light fixture up close. Pretty sweet. And then the same thing on this side. So that's a beautiful light fixture. Uh, on the top, you can tell that it's a little bit of a warmer light and on the bottom is a little bit of a cooler light. I think that's amazing. All right, so now let's, this bridge connects to that side of the house to this side of the house. And then on this side of the house, you have very thoughtfully placed the master bedroom. So the kids would be over there and then the parents or something like that would be over on this side. So before we go check out the rest of this, I just wanna show you guys what's behind this door. So you got double doors letting you into this master bedroom. And on this side, we have one of the two closets and a good size closet, the other one's bigger, so you know that the guy gets this one, and the wife is definitely gonna take the bigger closet. That's what would happen in my case, for sure. 
and then watch out behind you, Zach. We got a nice little design over here. And this is where you would have your bed on this side. And you got nice lighting in this room. You got the night table on that side, this side. And this is where you would have your nice big king bed right here. And super private. Doesn't matter which way you're looking. All you can see is greenery. You got your very own private deck right here. Let's go check this out. Unbelievably quiet. You don't hear any cars driving by or anything. I think there might be a creek or something like that. I could hear some water running. Yeah, super, super uh, relaxing. Maybe you want to hang out here before going to sleep at night. And then I, uh, I believe that that, I'm not sure exactly what material that is on the floor, but that's some cedar up above. All right. So every room had a little bit of a different light fixture, but they all had a similar uh, design, which is the gold or the black. Same thing with this one as well. So there's two master bedrooms in this house. One was on the main floor and one is on this floor. I personally would choose this one because it has a nicer washroom. So let me show you guys the washroom. So you got a beautiful countertop and a nice big reveal right here. And then a nice design on this wall as well. You got three wall sconces, gold and uh, no drywall. Once again, you got this marble styled tile right here and it looks amazing. And there's no cabinetry handles here. So you just pop it open just like that. And you got some open shelves right here. Maybe you place some of your towels. And then back here is where you have the toilet room. And then right behind me is where you have the shower. And then on this side is where you have the freestanding soaker tub. And of course, you gotta have the light fixture hanging above that as well. Pretty amazing. Yeah. All right, so that wraps up the tour for this floor. Now let's go check out the basement following. Okay guys, before we tour the basement, we're gonna check out the laundry room and the rest of the tour, I'm just gonna put on these slippers because they're so comfortable. Please don't make fun of me in the comments. They were provided by the realtor. All right, let's check this laundry room out. So this laundry room is huge. We got side-by-side -side LG machines over here, a ton of space to store whatever you wanted over here and on this side as well, a lot of shelving and slow stopping of course, a little bit of a different material and color than we saw out there. So down this way behind you, Zach, is the entrance and exit into the home. Now you're probably thinking, why do you need another en entrance over here? You already got one at the front and you got a garage entrance over here. So basically what you do, let's say you got some grocery or something like that, you park your car right there and you take it in right through here. You can store it in here if you wanted to or let's say there's snow outside and you don't wanna walk through the front door and get that whole area all messy. So you got tiles on the ground. You just nicely uh, stack your shoes right here. You got some storage right here, some drawers. The only thing that I would add in this room is some coat hooks right here. And then I think it's complete. And I also like that they have these pot lights right here. So now let's go check out the basement so follow me down this way welcome to the basement floor let's go check out the rest of this home this area is huge there's so many different rooms let's go explore so a little bit of this home is still under construction i don't even know what you would do in this room but this is a nice big room over here it looks like they've just laid the floor right now Nice big room over here. We got another room, I'm not even gonna go in that one. Maybe it's just extra storage if you wanted it to be. And behind me, we have another bedroom. Beautiful light fixture right here. And a lot of light coming into this area. You wouldn't even know that this is your basement. It's pretty cool. And then pretty standard, you got the washroom over here. I'm not even gonna go in there because there's so much house still to tour. We got a closet over here. So follow me down this way. Okay, so that's just some storage underneath your stairs. We got probably one of the sickest home theaters that I've ever seen in my life. We'll check that out in a second. We got more storage over here. This is your furnace room and control room. Uh, let's go into this room over here. 
probably one of the nicest washrooms that I've seen. I really like this tile a lot. If I saw this tile at the store, I probably would not buy it just because it's so out there, but look, it, they did an amazing job. It works so well over here. And we got the countertop, which is right here. Beautiful choice of the countertop. I love these knobs and they complement the tile so nicely. Yeah, maybe Zach, get another shot of the tiles, man. That looks amazing. I'm gonna get out of the way. Those look awesome. One of the favorite things in this house is definitely those tiles. So right here, we got a shower and hexagon tiles on the bottom and some shelves right over here. So follow me down this way. And we have in this room, this is definitely the gym, right? You got the mirror set up already for that. You could have your treadmill, your squat rack, um, your bench press, all that kind of good stuff. And then over here, you got your personal sauna right here. All right, now let's go down this way. And over here, we got the double glass doors, which let you into this area. I think that's awesome. Let's go check out the home theater room. So the home theater room, what do you think, Zach? One of the biggest ones that we've seen? Yeah, yeah, dude, amazing. So this is suede right here. Definitely one of the biggest home theaters that we've ever seen. They did an amazing job in here. You got the riser right here, right? And then you got the drop ceiling up above, which has the LED lights right there. They just did an amazing job in here. Um, I'm gonna dim the lights just a little bit to give you an idea of what it would look like in here when you're watching a movie. So that's what it would look like if you had it totally dimmed. I would probably keep these on. I think that looks amazing just like that. But yeah, hands down, one of the biggest home theater rooms that we've seen on this channel. And like I said before, this is suede and it probably is a good way of reducing the sound because that probably uh, absorbs some of those sound oh, waves. Like yeah, so yeah. Like very good acoustic environment to have your speakers like full blast, right? To enjoy those movies. All right, so follow me down this way. So once again, a huge room in here. You got multiple spots to put up your TVs. You can put your TV up on this side. You can put your TV up on this side over there. Maybe get a billiards table in here, a ping pong table, have a whole bunch of that stuff. And um, yeah, so hands down, one of the nicest parts about this house is definitely this island and this bar. I love the choice of the uh, black sink, which matches your Blanco faucet, just pull it out, clean the sink if you wanted to. And then back here is where you have your wine slash bottle room. I really like this a lot. Um, I would have all my wine bottles and my liquor bottles nicely displayed in here. I think this is an amazing room. Um, overall, you guys, the builder, you guys did an amazing job. And Zach, maybe just come around this way. I just want to bring the attention to this right here. Check out that hardware right there. That's pretty sweet. That looks amazing. And one last detail before we go check out the backyard is you got some shelves. Instead of just making this a wall, they've created a little bit of an open concept feel by having these shelves right here. Allows you to see into that area. Maybe you stack some books here, maybe some bottles or something like that. Just awesome. All right, so that sums up the tour for the house. Now let's go check out the backyard, which is right through those doors over here. So follow me down this way. The cool thing about that bar is that it has its own entrance and exit. We got a nice little motion sensor light right here. So when someone walks down this way, it turns on. These stairs lead me into this unbelievably private backyard. This is hands down one of the most private backyards that we have ever seen. And I really appreciate that the builder kept this tree on the property. They did not cut it down. I wish we could show you this property at nighttime because you'd be able to see the spotlights onto the tree and then we also have some more landscape spotlighting right here as well so once again hands down one of the most private backyards that we have ever seen all you hear is birds and trees you feel like you're in a park somewhere and on my right over here is where you have a little bit of a seating area to enjoy that sun and those doors right there lead you back into the house so over here we have these doors and these take you into your living room slash your kitchen as well. So over here we got 
cedar soffits, you got some pre-built uh, speakers, we got some pre-installed speakers up here as well. And of course, you got you got to have the camera system as well, which lets you see whatever's going on on this property. Um, let's go a little bit further and check out what's down here as well. This is a very, very exclusive neighborhood. The house next to this one just sold for $7 million. That's insane. So yeah, this pretty much just takes you to the front of the house. We got the AC system right here. Uh, so much mature landscaping. I think that the builder did an amazing job over here. Now let's go to the front of the property where I'm going to sum it all up. Follow me. Wow, that house was huge. One of the biggest that we've seen on this channel. A big shout out to the builder. You guys did an amazing job. A huge thank you to Tony Yao of Sun Group Realty for letting us tour his amazing listing. Please like, comment and subscribe if you haven't already and see you in the next episode.